next we've got two of the biggest brothers in rock. Now, the, we would have liked to bring you this interview in full, but unfortunately, the Gallaghers and Saturday mornings just don't mix. So what we've got is we've got some edited highlights. Here's what happened when I flew to Orlando to catch up with Oasis. We come here because people buy the records, and that's it. They're all right over here. They respect bands more for being musicians. Now you've described the new album, Heathen Chemistry, as the second best album that you've ever done. Mm. Do you think you'll ever write one as good as Definitely Maybe again? It, if anyone's going to do it, he'll do it, but I'm 35 now. You can't write songs like Rock and Roll Style for everyone my age. You know, because, well, because be I'd be faking it, you know what I mean? I'd be, I'd, when I was writing Live Forever and Supersonic and that, I was 21. Mm. It was about life on the dole, and if I started writing songs like that, people would just see through it immediately. You can only write about what you've respected where you are. Do you honestly believe that, though? As a songwriter, can you only... No, I'm lying. No, no, no. Of course but I believe do you know, that. But yeah. do you know what I mean? Do you have to be feeling something at I the do. time to write? I've got to be honest. I've got to, I can't write songs about being 21. young and unemployed and being 21 <clears throat> because I'm not, you know. Why are you actually talking about me being sweating on and very good looking? <laughs> no, well, you know, well, you're writing about yourself, so it doesn't matter, does it? Is Oasis democratic or do you have the so, final say? Or Well, these lot would say, uh, I don't, well, you know. Truthfully, no. Truthfully, <laughs> I, well, they drop it all on me. Right. I've got to make all the tough decisions. Yeah, right. oh. All the things about, like, you know, should we get tea or coffee for the studio or you know, should we have toast or beans on toast? For, I mean, or uh, digestives or chocolate ones. I, well, they'll drop that on me because that's important. I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'll freak them out about biscuits, you know what I mean? And it just don't matter now, little by little. And what's the relationship like now between you guys? No. What's it like now between no, It's really you good, man, I think. I think it's the best it's ever been. It's never been that bad. It's always been. It's just like, but you, you know, you'll have an argument about something the last 15 minutes, and then the repercussions will go on for the rest of the year. Mm. You know, that's. There's only two people ever get it, and that's me and him. Now, another thing, when you when you're promoting, doing promotion for the album and stuff, um, always people ask you about different bands. Mm. And always. Right now, right, listen, right, I just, no, let me just say. People of England, this is the way it goes in every interview. Listen. We were going along here, nice and smooth, talking about Oasis, See. and then she just goes. Let me just. Can I just say something? So, I said, I, I, on this Who one, do you want right? to talk now, about? No, listen, let me just say, I was in an interview the other day, like, my girlfriend was doing an interview, and some girl behind me, and she's gone, so, George Michael was in here last week, and he said, all you ever do is slag people off when you have a record out. Now, right? I don't, see, I, I, I don't know, agree just, no, let me just, no, let me just say something. Okay. So I turned out, just for, for the sake of me on a day off with my kid, I just went, yeah, of course we do. So we've got a little black book, me and our kids, blah, 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 so we go. Now, we only get interviewed when we've got records that's, out. That's what I was saying. Do you yeah. understand, George? You know, it's like when you have a record out, you know, as long as it lasts in the charts, the 30 seconds it's interesting for, that's when you get interviewed and that's when we get interviewed and it just so happens that we both have records out at the same time. Lesson number one. Carry on. So I've got to ask you, what happened with James from Star Sailor? I don't know, you know. I was just, you know, being there, trying to act like, you know, peace and love to all men and all that. And then he comes up and he taps me on the shoulder. I don't like it. So when yeah, I walked no, over, to Liam. So I walked over and I says, yeah, I come here. I said, you ever interrupt anyone's interview again and you'll be going on in an ambulance? And you're lucky that I'm going on stage in about three <laughs> minutes' time because i would be chasing you down there like some mad wolf. So then, if I'd have come off stage, and obviously they weren't there when we'd come off. Mm. And if they would have been, I, I would have. I would have gone. Well, the funny thing was he was going, <laughs> I paid 100 quid to see you up main road. <laughs> <laughs> Pop stars. Mm. Darius is the man. I knew, I knew he'd be in that. Simon I Cowell was in a band, one. he'd be in this band. Because he tells I it always, like he is. I always knew he was going to be the geese. I was like, oh, that guy, man, he's having it. See, it's like I said the other day, it doesn't matter how much talent you've got, you have to have a little bit of talent, but if you've got more passion than anything, you will, be, you will get there. So what do you think they should do? Do you think that the I, charts I, need I, to Do you know what? Or? Good luck to him, man. Because if some kid's working at Tesco's and he sounds like, um, you know, Otis Redding, mm -hmm. you know, and he stands to make a million quid, by acting like, you know, by doing all this malarkey and doing all these dance moves on Total Pops, I'd do it. It's better than working at Tesco's, but don't call it music. Pop stars too. The judges as are... As long as Simon Cowell's on it. Jelly Hollywell. How can Jelly Hollywell ever turn around and go, you're rubbish? 
if that was it, if someone had voted, she had to turn around and went, you're rubbish, I swear to God. Oh, well, I don't think you hit that note so high there, and I think you should go away and... When did she start coming from Newcastle? She's not from Newcastle, she's from Yorkshire. OK, what do you think about bands like S Club Juniors? I was in Olympic Studios, right, mixing this album, and there's a bunch of irritating little kids in the canteen, right, doing all them stupid dance moves. And I've come downstairs and I've gone, here are all the kids upstairs. I had a band with five people. The other four all went, oh, it's S Club Juniors. <laughs> How did you know that? Oh, well, you know, they don't tell you, aren't they? So I was like, hang on a minute. When did you lot change? <laughs> when did, you know, did I miss a meeting here or something? <laughs> all of them, you know, Prince of Darkness. It's S Club <laughs> Juniors, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so what do you think of them then? I think they're irritating little <laughs> I quite like them actually. <laughs> do you know do you what my like... two-year-old daughter said to me the other day? Wow. She said, no way that you'll like this. I was playing my guitar at the, at, at, uh, the bottom of the stairs and uh, she, saw, she, was, she was dancing to music and I, and, uh, I said, do you like music? And she said, yeah, so who's your favourite? she went, Kylie. I was like, right, put that bottle down and get to bed <laughs> right now. I live for the day of op anyone. opening the door very aggressively to my daughter's boyfriend. <laughs> You're going to be in so much trouble, mm. aren't you? What do you want? <laughs> yes, she is in. Well, what do you want? Come in. <laughs> <laughs> Liam, you wrote Songbird for Nick, yeah. right? Was it easy to write? Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I, I think so, because it changed pretty easy itself, but I never actually wrote the words down on a piece of paper, just sort of come out. Mm. But it was when I first started, sort of like, when I first met her, we weren't really seeing each other, you know? And I sort of, I just felt, you know, I felt like 17 again, you know what I mean? Because it was obviously over with my, my ex-wife and that, and I just thought, right, you know, I'm gonna get into this dating game. <laughs> so then, you know, we just started, like, dating, seeing each other and that, and then I wouldn't see her for ages, and then I'd see her again, and it was like that. So, it's pretty easy. Have you stuck? Because you've got this fleet of cars, and all you yeah. used to do was drive them up and down your driveway. Have you learnt yet? What happened is I was um, I was taking driving lessons in this Nissan Micra. <laughs> I remember the big, you pulled the up big... outside of school, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. But that wasn't that wasn't the reason why. It's not the reason why I stopped. I had this driving instructor who was 35 stone, right? And she put her hand on me one day while I was driving along, and I was like, oh! I but she, I tell you what she's done one day. We were driving around this council estate in Slough. And uh, she said, can you just pull up here? So I pulled up on the curb, expecting uh, a lecture about, you know, three-point turns. Her mum came out. She drove me to her house. Come and meet him. I'm sat there in a Nissan Micra, the big red letter L on the top, like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can I have your autograph? I'm like, I'm a bit busy now, love, but, you know, maybe next time. You know? <laughs> There'll be, still be a place for Oasis in the future because you've got your new wave kind of bands coming like the Hives and the Strokes and the White Stripes. We're Oasis, we just do what we do, what we've always done, and the place will come up with us. And I'm not, I don't want to be in a scene, I never wanted to be in a scene, and, I don't, and I'm not about being in a scene. We never want to be Britpop, we're just Oasis in a band. And, we were and new wave, a new wave before we were Britpop, weren't we? <clears throat> and we're just going to keep continuing to do what we do. If people like it, they like it. If they don't, they don't. It doesn't really matter. I'm 30 next year, you know what I mean? And I still have it with anyone. It's 30 this year. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> this year, so it's all, it's, you know, but okay, I'll, I'll still... started already. Is there anything that you'd change? No, I wouldn't change I wouldn't. it. I wouldn't change anything. Mm.